guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Leah Lorhan. and I'm back at it again with another video. If you are new to my channel, hey friend, how are you doing? My name is Leah. I make videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, how are you, friend? I hope you're doing wonderful, fabulous, beautiful, amazing. Um, I'm not gonna give you like a really long intro this time because this video is anticipated to be kind of long. So I'm gonna skip the long intro, but um, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a video, of course, girl. Um, and um, let's just get started. <laughs> so before we start this video, I just wanna put a quick disclaimer out there because you know, people be trying to blame you and um, I'm not the one, two, or the three, okay? I just want to say, first of all, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a trainer, I am not certified in any of this information that I'm giving you. I'm just a girl who has had her trials and tribulations with gaining weight, losing weight, and I also know how to do research very effectively and well so that I get the results I want backed by science. Keep that in mind. Don't, you know, if something I say here doesn't work for you, that's not my fault. Like, there are a lot of programs, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that might work for you. Make sure you reach out to a nutritionist or a personal trainer for effective results we did it joe we did it joe we made it to this video girl it was a struggle to get to this video because i really didn't know if i was gonna make it i was just like man this is hard like i don't know if i'm really gonna do this but we're here we're here alexa play never would have made it never would have made it without you <laughs> stop before i start this again i just want to say that i'm not going to give you guys any new information so the information that i'm giving you is information that you've probably already seen on youtube if you're expecting me to give you some type of like magical secret about how i lost this weight in such a short amount of time i don't got one i don't have a secret i didn't drink any concoctions this was just hard work tears a lot of hunger pains a lot of agony a lot of like cravings it was, it was stressful i'm not even gonna lie it so if you're expecting anything magical, like a one-step trick, <laughs> this is not the video for you. So sorry about it. But now that we've got all of that out the way, the next thing I'm going to do is talk to you about my weight gain journey, like my weight gain and my weight loss journey. If you're not interested in this, which I know some of you won't be, I'll put a timestamp across the screen of where you can stick, uh, where you can skip to, and I will also put that in the description box down below as well. So my whole life I've been skinny, and not just like skinny like you slim girl but like i've been real thin like i've been thin my whole entire life and part of that is genetic so most of my family members when they're young they're pretty like thin they're pretty slim so that's not weird it wasn't weird at all that i was that slim however it was concerning because i just wasn't gaining weight i was a steady i want to say like 118 pounds for most of my life up until junior year in junior year i made the act in junior year of college I made the active decision to gain weight. I was like, girl, you know what? You're fine now, but I just wanna see what I look like with a little bit of weight on me. So I started doing my research. I started going on YouTube, looking at all these different videos, like weight gain plans, workout routines, that type of thing, beginner plans, all these things. Like I, I was jumping down the rabbit hole and getting my life together and starting my fitness journey. So that happened in junior year. Another thing is I started to actively um, consume more calories. So I started eating in a caloric surplus and I also started consuming more like protein powders and also protein powders with creatine in it. So things that are about like 1,200 calories, a serving size. I had that every Every single day it's safe to say I did get my weight up but I didn't get it up in the way that I wanted it was kind of bad weight and when I say bad weight I mean it was like visceral tummy fat I had some cellulite like it, it wasn't the body that I was thinking of um, and there's nothing wrong with being a little thicker there's nothing wrong with being curvy a full-figured woman plus size there's nothing wrong with that you know love the body that you're in However, for me, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I was comfortable in. And so immediately I was just like, I have to lose this weight. From that point on, I was in this consistent journey of being inconsistently in a weight gain and a weight loss period. I hope that made sense. What I'm trying to say is I would gain weight, but again, it would be the bad type of weight and so that I would lose it again. Now I'm too skinny, so now I gotta gain weight again. It was just a lot, like, it was just a lot. Um, this year I had to make an active decision and here's how I did that. 
so i've lost weight before like i just told you i've lost weight this is not new to me this is i'm not new to this i'm true to this you know what i'm saying i've tried all the things i did chloe tang workouts i did kickboxing um i was at the gym like four times a week i had a personal trainer i did all the things girl i did all the things and it wasn't working it wasn't working like the fat was always back it was always back and so um i think i was just frustrated because i was just like why does this keep happening to me like, i don't understand and so that it was just a lot like I, I had to sit down and i had to have a serious talk with myself about why i'm going through all of this and what i realized is i have no self-control i really have no self-control i lack willpower and although in my life i can control that so i am in control when it comes to work and in school and all of that i am not in control when it comes to my cravings like if i want a cookie i want a cookie now if i want cake i want a cake now and i don't want one cookie i don't want two cookies i want five I want seven and the next thing you know I didn't ate the whole pack like I'm, I'm, I'm just keeping a stack with y'all like that's that was my problem like I literally did not know when to stop and my cravings were controlling my life I also realized that my problem is not so much that I don't have a weight gain a weight loss plan and my problem is not that um, I don't know how to eat healthy or work out or anything like that. My problem is more mental than anything. So I was just like, all right, well, now that I know that, here's how we're gonna fix it. So the first thing I did in order to lose weight is I gave myself a reality check. By a reality check, I mean I stepped on the scale. I know. No one wants to do that. No one wants to step on a scale. No one wants to see their weight in numbers. No one wants to see like their worst fears right there in front of them. I know it's super scary, but you have to do it. I was avoiding stepping on the scale because I could see my weight gain in other parts of me. So besides seeing like a quantity, um, I could see that I was gaining weight because my jeans fit differently. Like they were super, super tight. Like even when I squatted, I could barely do that. My favorite pair of yoga pants ripped those like, girl. When I tried clothes on for my try on hauls, I was like, who is this even? It's not me. I was just like, yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. That's when I realized that I needed to step on a scale. When I finally stepped on the scale, I was shook. I was shook. I was, I was shocked beyond belief, girl. I was like, mm hmm. Like I was so lost and confused. I was like, how did this happen? How did I get to this point in my life? So before this, I had been consistently about 150 pounds for the past like maybe two years. When I stepped on the scale this time, I was 165.8 pounds. I want to be snatched. I want to be snatched. Yeah. I My goal for this is to lose five pounds. Yes, five pounds. I weighed myself this morning and this is the heaviest I've ever been, but I am currently 165.8 pounds. Um, and I want to lose five pounds. Um, five pounds and then two inches off my waist, hopefully. So my waist is 32 inches. I have no idea how I gained 15 pounds. Like, how do you gain 15 pounds in such a short amount of time? Like, wait. That reality check was definitely needed and I knew that it was time to kick it into high gear at that point. The second thing I did in order to lose weight is I did a juice cleanse. Most people do juice cleanses because they wanna shed pounds really quickly. That's not why I did it. I did the juice cleanse because I wanted to flush my body of all the toxins I had been taking in. So all that processed food, um, fast foods, manufactured foods, like things that just weren't organic, unhealthy, like dairy, all of that stuff, I wanted to flush. I will say that the juice cleanse did help me lose some weight. So I lost like a pound doing the juice cleanse. I did a three day juice cleanse where I drank three juices for three days for a total of nine juices. I didn't really eat any meals on those days. The only meals I had were salads. So because those are raw and organic greens and fruits anyway, it didn't really count as breaking the juice cleanse because it's just the same thing in solid form. The juice cleanse was hard. It was super, super hard. Every single night, my cravings hit me the hardest. I wanted cookies, I wanted cake, I wanted popcorn. I wanted real food. At that point, girl, I would have been okay with a bowl of quinoa. I just wanted food. All right, y'all, so I got the second juice. This one is something carroty. I'm nervous about this one because I typically do not like carrot juices. Like, I am not a carrot juice girl. I hate it, I think it's gross. It smells like carrot and ginger. Ginger and my stomach, they do not work well together. Like ginger always makes me like puke. So the juice cleanse was super, super, super hard, but 
it was necessary girl so after I did my juice cleanse, the third thing that I did was I laid out a plan and I was intentional about my goals. It's very important for you to be intentional about your goals and to quantify what type of results you're expecting to see. It's not enough for you to say, I want to lose weight because sure, you'll lose weight by the end of your um, the time span that you're giving yourself, but you won't be happy with the weight that you're losing because you didn't give yourself a number. Instead of saying, I want to lose belly fat, say, I want to lose two inches off my waist. Instead of saying, I want to have slimmer arms say i want to lose three inches off my arms you know what i mean quantify because it'll help you see the difference my goal specifically was i wanted to lose about like five pounds by april 1st and i wanted to lose two inches off my waist because i felt like that would be an optimal weight for me another thing i wanted to do was i wanted to go to the gym at least four times a week and i would explain a little bit more about that later the next thing I did was I did intermittent fasting and I made sure I ate a very healthy and clean diet in a caloric deficit. I know y'all are probably like, please, I have no idea what you just said. Like, I get it. I get it. I got you. <laughs> I know a lot of you are probably like, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this because here's the thing. The thing is, a lot of people want to lose weight, but they don't want to do the work. You know what I mean? They don't want to change their diets. They don't want to do anything. They want like a one step thing that'll just make them shed pounds automatically. I don't know about y'all, but I believe in science and science says that ain't happening. Nobody's losing 20 pounds overnight without putting in the work. It's just not happening. Okay. Like, no, I'm not even going to coddle y'all and be real sweet and nice about it. Like you're not losing weight like that period with that being said i did intermittent fasting in a um i think it's 8 16 window so what that basically means is i ate for eight hours of the day and for the other 16 i was fasting so my eating window was from 12 p.m to 7 p.m so after 7 p.m up until 12 the next day i was fasting i couldn't eat anything except for um consuming water and black coffee because that has no calories intermittent fasting is not really hard especially if you set it at a time that you're used to eating for me i'm not a morning person i'm not a breakfast person so it wouldn't make sense for me to start eating at 9 a.m you know what i mean it makes more sense for me to start eating at 12 p.m because that's when i really start to get hungry and that's the time that i'm usually coming back home from the gym the next thing i did was i ate in a caloric deficit so a caloric deficit basically means that you're eating less than what your body needs in order to sustain your weight, your current weight that is. Most people have a diet I believe of like 2,500 calories a day. If that number is incorrect, I'm gonna put the correct number on the screen. Um, but that number also varies from like height, weight, age, and stuff like that, and then what your goal is. I, For me to eat in a caloric deficit, I have to eat about like 1,400 calories for my weight and my height. Um, in order to reach my goal so um, I ate way less than I needed to do which was fine like it didn't really suck as much as I thought it did some of my favorite meals were reaching that goal you know I really enjoyed making fried rice so shrimp fried rice and that was only 400 calories so for dinner I was able to eat whatever I wanted and it was fine I was still losing weight girl I just said I was eating fried rice and I was losing weight so as far as my diet goes I've already been someone who ate pretty clean I'm a pescatarian so I don't eat meat um, I don't eat anything except fish. I don't eat dairy. I don't consume dairy much. Some mac and cheese can run sometimes. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I don't really consume dairy too often. Maybe like once a week, I'll say. So my diet was already pretty clean. I eat a lot of like leafy greens. I like kale salads. I like strawberries. I like blueberries, stuff like that. So my diet was already pretty clean, you know. Um, so I didn't, really didn't have to do much changes. But what i will say is a piece of advice is that eating healthy and making that complete like 180 from eating whatever you want to eating clean is hard it is a struggle don't let anybody tell you that that's easy because it's not it's hard be nice to yourself that's number one and number two do a lot of research and find out what you like so there are a lot of recipes on youtube for like quick and fast and easy and and budget friendly meals and i've tried a lot of those meals and some of them do slap a lot so you don't have to completely rid yourself of the foods that you like you love and you enjoy um just make sure that you're making them with intention and you're making them with healthier products if that makes sense some of my favorite healthy meals during this time was um so i made salmon empanadas and i made them in an air fryer kale salad with salad <sighs> kale salad with salmon um berries that type of thing almonds was pretty good as well 
I also really, really, really enjoyed um, squash. So I put breadcrumbs on it and then like I put it in the air fryer. Ugh. Muy bien. Time I made sweet chili fried shrimp with a kale salad and that was good as well. So like I said, you don't have to rob yourself of all the things you want, girl. Just make sure you tone it down a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Instead of ordering shrimp fried rice, cook shrimp fried rice. That way you know what's in there and you're cognizant about what you're consuming. The next thing I did was I worked out four times a week. Ooh, I know you're like, nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> nobody wants to hear that. I hear you, I got it. But um, to be completely honest with you, for you to lose weight, you don't have to work out. You know what I mean? Like most of losing weight is 80% eating and 20% whatever else you're doing. But if you maintain a good diet, if you're in intermittent fasting, if you're eating at a caloric deficit, you will lose the weight you want without ever picking up a dumbbell. You don't have to. But I did it for a few reasons. When I work out, it releases endorphins and those endorphins help me to feel like a little happier. They help me with my mood a lot. When I do hit cardio and I'm running, girl, after that workout, I am invincible. Like. I feel my happiest after a hit cardio workout. Another thing is that um, it helps me to concentrate. So when I work out daily, it helps me to like boost my productiveness and work and also in school and other areas of my life. So I like working out like that. The third is I also like to see my progress. So I set marks for myself. If I was on a treadmill and I did a hit cardio workout on a treadmill, if I um, burned 100 calories today, I would make sure that tomorrow I'm burning 175. The following day I am burning 250 and so on and so forth. You know, just being realistic but also setting goals and pushing myself to what I can handle. I also know that a lot of people don't have, you know, access to a gym. Uh, it is a panty. So a lot of people don't want to go to the gym because there's a lot of people around. I completely understand that. Makes sense to me. Don't feel like you have to go to the gym. There's a lot of stuff that you can do at your home. My girl Chloe Ting, she'll get you snatched. She'll make you cry but she'll get you snatched. A lot of other YouTubers have like workout regimens that are free online, so make sure you take advantage of those free resources as well. All right, y'all, so that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you open the description box for all these links that I have for, you know, some of my favorite meals that I found on YouTube, some of my favorite workouts I found on YouTube, and information of that sort. If you guys have any questions about this video, make sure you leave it down in the comment box down below or make sure you DM me. My socials are also in the description box and in the outro as well. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. And if you want to see more like fitness videos, make sure you reach out, girl, because I'm, I'm all here for the fitness. I'm here for everyone. So if you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.